Hey guys, back with another tweet. Let's go. This guy says, My dad has been crying ever since he discovered his mother actually lied about his, preg about his father not wanting him during pregnancy. He found his dad. The poor man didn't even know he existed. The boy hated the man for so long because of that. How he tracked him down is beyond me. If you were raised by a single parent, by all means, find the other parent is still alive. Let them tell you their own side of the story. And if truthfully, they didn't want you, you can bounce. True. True. But it, it, it's very hard. See, these stories always happen. These stories always happen. We have women. Men do it too. But when people who break up in relationships, who break up from relationships, huh? and maybe from a marriage or they had children in their, when they were in a relationship and because of the hurt from the relationship they try to seclude their children from the other person it happens a lot but women mostly do it women mostly take care of children women mostly nurture children it even happens in a family setting where a woman this is this is she, she she's not doing it for any bad reason or, or she might be but she shows it, the child so much love that the father cannot give like whatever the child wants the child might go to meet the father and the father refuses but the child goes to meet the mother and the mother either makes the father agree to get it for the child or gets gets it for the child without the father knowing that will breed a kind of connection between her and her child that the father will never have and she might still put in some things into the child's head saying that the father doesn't really care for the child or your father is just like that that's where he is and the child now feel less loved by the father and more loved by the mother kind of manipulation tactics and the child is now uh, like that you understand when the child grows up and see that it doesn't always really work that way you can't get everything you want your mother might have spoiled to you, your father did not. Doesn't mean your father loves you less. I have this kind of I have a friend now who's um who thinks or whose father did not really did not really want him. Did not really show care. Not really not not that child, the father did not want the child the father comes to see him from time to time. His mother is not in Nigeria, so he, he stays with his um he grew up with his grandmother and the father never was never always involved in his life and what happened was that he always he had he had this grudge against his father but the, the 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 only the only good thing is that his mother never spoke bad about his father never said his father is a person that doesn't love him the, the mother even wants to make them closer and stuff is the guy that is even moving away saying no um he was not there for me when i needed him why is he coming back now but the truth of the story was that when they separated the guy the father actually wanted his children but the mother seeing that he was not really a faithful man and he was not really a calm-headed person just knowing from being with him that he could, he could not actually take care of those children in all ramifications but he was not a stable man so she she said no and she gave the children to her grandmother to take care of because she had to travel outside to make ends meet for the family to earn better living and but you get my story this this is just like an exceptional case where the mother still wants the children to be involved with the father in most cases it's not so you take the health of relationship and you from a relationship that your partner hurts you you make the children um, love you more you lie to them that your partner is, 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 is that your that your ex partner is a bad person doesn't love them and you cut them off from their father you cut them off from their mother that's very wrong <laughs> well let's go on oh 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 there's more to this story let me rush it my guy has been crying ever since he discovered his mother actually lied about his father not wanting him during pregnancy he found out he found his dad the poor man they didn't even know he existed the boy hated the man for so long because of that how he tracked him down is beyond me if you were raised by a single parent by all means find the other parent if he's still alive let them tell you the outside of the story and if truly they didn't want you you can bounce 
because going through life with so much hatred for someone who probably don't know you existed isn't healthy like what if you were a product of a one night stand and your mom was so embarrassed about it that she had to lie about that that she had to lie and all that in his case he dated for a while as his father and his mother and i have been trying to convince him to ask his mom why she lied and kept him a secret and kept the secret away from kept him a secret even from his dad he ghosted her since on saturday i would update if she confirms and or negates what his dad said do do give a follow i'll follow back let's head straight to the comments someone says i was raised by my dad's family and for the way i was treated i hated my mom when my dad noticed the hatred he sat me down and explained to me why it wasn't my mom's fault when i gave my mom a chance in my life she started telling a lot of lies about my dad i cut her off your mom is probably not a good person because you didn't like your mom before and then your dad made you like her and now she's saying bad things about your dad I don't know, but your mom is not a good person for what you have said. But well, let's go on. I grew up with my dad and stepmom. Everything my dad said about my mom was the truth too. My dad didn't lie. Nine years after his death, my mom is still enjoying her life in Spain and doesn't care about her girls. My dad was right. She doesn't love anybody, only herself. Sad story. Sad story. What can we say? Yesha says, my mom used to say none of her kids will marry from a broken home. Especially kids raised by a single mom in the full absence of a dad. And the older I get, the more I see reasons why she always said that to me. Bro, is it not obvious? Some kids raised by single moms. Bro, it, it, it is not obvious. Some kids raised by single mothers do turn out to be good people. And the guy says, of course, there always, will always be exceptions. I should have stated that on my reply. That's my bad. I hate him for being... Mm, for accepting correction, yeah. And I always see the always exceptions. But in most cases, the girls who I've dealt with, like the girls I've been in a relationship with, who were from single homes, you know, the girls that gave me more stress. What, this is not just saying every girl who, or most people who come from single mother households are bad. No, no, no. See, look, it's very hard for. Mm, you where you, you are, see a man a man in my opinion a man gives structure to a household he sets the rules he, the mother is more lenient and open-minded and soft and can and and she, she just cares and nurtures and but a man set down rules a man sets the structure a man goes out there to it's just a certain way you see yes a man goes out there, comes back, friends with family, goes out to the world again, comes back. It, it just sets a, something in your head where you know that, yeah, a man is the head of the family. A man takes care of the family. When you now see a mother, like a single mother, whose fault it, it is not maybe divorce or, or um, from an abusive man or the man died or something. When you see this kind of women, you see them that they are, they are they, see when, when when you are in this when you are in this world, when you have to face the world, you have to be aggressive. And those single mothers have to become aggressive. Not always, depending on the kind of job they do or how they get money. But in most cases, you have to now strive to take care of your children. Very good cause, nothing bad about that. Nothing bad about that. But the implication is that you now raise aggressive girls who cannot really cooperate with a man because they never saw that while growing up. No battery, please charge. Do you understand? Because they never saw that while growing up. It, they just find it harder to cooperate, cooperate with a man, except they get get with a man at a very young age and then a good man who can really lead and tell them this is what to do and this is what to do courageously and calmly. You can find that kind of man, fine, but in most cases, it might not happen. And now it results to them not being able to cooperate with a man, both in marriage and in relationship. And that doesn't turn out well for a good family, for the society and even the world at large. If you get my point or more, you, you shall be that. This woman now says, remind me of a story told by my mom concerning an acquaintance. The husband being a lecturer cheated on the wife. Wife got to know when a group of students came to protest in their home. She did everything possible for them not to gain access into their home and in the process had a miscarriage. She never returned to the house after getting discharged from the hospital. She went with all her children and cut ties from the father. 
My father reached out so many times, even just to see the children. But she blocked her channels. She raised the kid alone. The children alone. Children grew up and sat for their father. They welcomed him into their lives and carried along in everything pertaining to them and even made him sit as their father on, on their wedding days. The shock of the father-children relationship sent the mother into having a stroke. She died. She died not enjoying the fruit of her labor. The father enjoyed all her labor over them because the children all became great. This woman had believed the children would never look for their father, feeding them with all sorts of lies. I pity her because she died laboring in vain, carrying unnecessary burden that the husband would have helped her with while the children were growing up. No matter what happens, every child deserves to know both parents, except it's dangerous to them. Best story I've heard so far. Every child deserves to know both parents, except if it's dangerous to them. Let's go on. I was raised by my mom alone, and I did not have an iota of hatred for my father because my mother and her family raised me with love. Long story short, me and my dad are in contact once in a while now. And he has apologized for abandoning me. I forgave, forgave him, Sha. He got me my first car. Nice story. My friend had a similar story. Doesn't know the dad and is so comfortable about it because the mom and grandma told her hell about the man. The man is still alive, but she's, she kept saying that man is a devil. I tried to convince her to find the dad out, but to no avail. I was, raised by my, I was raised by a single mom. My mom never for once told me something negative about my dad. I found out everything the day she took me to him and when my dad told her he would love it if I stayed with him for some time. That's when my mom said, I thought you would still deny her. <laughs> there are good women out there though, good women, who even though something goes wrong, they would not seek to hurt out the man, to hurt the man or separate him from his children. Nice story. Same thing happened to my friend. She was raised by her dad, her dad and stepmom. They told her her mom left to do prostitution. It was after graduating university she looked for her mom. After hearing her mom's story, that was validated by her grandma. She weak. I don't really understand that, but I get, I get, I get you. The mom lied. She okay. She, she I don't know how to explain. She weak in. in um, no, I, I get so well. So she, she should be from Benin. I get I say again. I told you from Benin. Now a mom lied to her kids that their father didn't want them only to find out. His father always sent upkeep money, paid fees while the mom claimed she claimed she did, asked for photos and letters from his kids while he was from. The second kid wasn't his brother his brother. You when they try to put partition in front of the right now. No command of no apostle. Wait me on this one. The second kid wasn't his brother's mom. The sec second kid wasn't his brother. Mom had an affair with neighbor. Ah! Someone replies to him, so women are literally like this. Head of a woman who even told the child children their dad doesn't support them. Meanwhile, it was the man who usually paid the school fee of the children and their upkeep into the wife's account. Someone replies to him and says, Why were they just paying money without trying to establish any relationship with the kids? And the guy tipping says, If you had worked in Lagos before, you will know it's not everyone that has a beautiful job and family experience life. Some little days I spend there, I know it's really tough. Go out as early as 4 a.m. and come back really late. Some things are uncontrollable. I don't believe social. If you can be able to contribute financially to your kids, you should be able to contribute fiscally. Be there for them. Take off, take off, um, take time off work. It's not easy. I'm just saying it's not easy. If it was me, I would find a way. I work in weekends too. Make out time. Let them come to your workplace and sit down in the office with you. Let them come. Let them come around. Let them see you. Let them be around you. Don't just send money to your children and they are not involved in their life practically. Doesn't make any sense. This guy says, "This is what my 12-year-old daughter is going through now. Her mom made her to stop talking to me on the phone since 2017. She changed her son name without my consent. Reasons best known to her. Sorry, bro." Most women have a way of using subtle means to try to win their children over to themselves by sometimes making it seem that the man is not caring enough. I, just, I said this. I said this. That's why many grow up to love their mother more without realizing what has happened to them. Hmm. I also think sometimes many are angry with the man that they transfer their anger by denying the child the father's presence. Maybe do better always. A woman said this. I understand though. 
very nice story so you guys please tell me what you think about people who were in a relationship before they now broke off they had children and then the partner takes the children takes full custody of the children or even if not full custody half custody and whenever the children is with them they lie about lie about the other partner to the children just to turn the children against the other partner tell me what you think tell me your experience tell me what you feel about the stuff catch you guys later sorry for my old bust i was just so angry at these guys who retweet and not fucking put punctuation not put apostrophes not put commas full stop just write anyhow my bad i'm sorry catch you guys in the next video please subscribe and i just do